I bought it. Hey there guys, oh, welcome back to the channel. Um, yeah, it's been a minute, sorry. Um, I've been trying to figure out what to do content-wise, um, and I have been filming a few bits and pieces to try and make some video projects, but it's taken a while to get off the ground. In the meantime, We're going to open this up. Yes, here we are with the uh, the Blood Angels box. Um, arrived today. Um, unfortunately, uh, the company that I did have mine arrived by, it was a third party company. And the box was just slightly the wrong size, I think. Um, and there wasn't a lot of packaging inside. So there is a little bit of superficial damage to the box. Um, just in a few, few areas, a few corners here. But overall box itself actually arrived in very nice condition um it is a sleeve um over box so the sleeve slides off um but yeah the damage did also carry over to the box underneath which is a little bit of a shame but, um, but yeah uh, of course uh, first few of the boxes this wonderful cover art of uh the blood angels in action with the death company at the forefront and some uh, aggressors in the back and we do see what we can assume is a uh sanguinary guard um of course, doesn't quite match up to their current Primaris models, so I think that caught a bit of a uh, bit of controversy in, in confusion. But oh well, um, I believe I did a quick bit of research um, forwarding the unboxing today. I believe I'm right in saying that the cover art is by Jamie Martinez. Um, of course, please correct me um, if that's not the case. But from what I could tell. Um, that was the case. Uh, I had a look at his, um, some art portfolio website and the user Jamie Martinez was posting a few details in the box. So I hope I hope that's properly accredited. But either way, it's a lovely piece of artwork. Um, I'm really kind of, uh, I hope conveys the, uh, the savagery of the Blood Angels in action. And I really like the kind of the use of colors. Um, Kind of how the the Angels of Death web series on Warhammer Plus with the um, the only real details apart from the black and white being picked out, of course, and that iconic red, and of course a few little flashes of, of yellow and orange here for fire and whatnot. But for the most part, yeah, just the black, white, and red, and I think that's um, very effective, and I, I really like it. And yeah, we're just gonna pop the box over onto the other side. Of course, that shows um, the contents of the box. The, Fully painted army in action there. Um, making all kinds of noise. Um, of course, sharing a few details with the, uh, the Death Company, um, Assault Intercessors, Fast Track, Grim, and Malatis. But yes, of course, as you can see, the full contents of the box are those two characters 10 Assault Intercessors and 10 Assault Intercessors with jump packs, and of course, the, uh, the Death Company Dreadnought there, and uh, yeah, they look absolutely fantastic in their uh, heavy metal scheme. And then, of course, alongside that, we also do have um, the Codex Supplement, uh, the data sheets, um, the, uh, like the Assembly Guide to transfers, of course, and it also does come with four of those new Blood Angel upgrade kits that were kind of revealed with a lot of the new Blood Angel reveals, so that's all very cool indeed. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Um, and yeah, just a few other bits and pieces. Uh, but yeah, let's um, let's pop this sleeve off. I think. Yeah. So the cover art actually is the color version of the same artwork on the front there. Um, I don't know if there's anything on the back. Oh yeah, no, there is. If we just quickly pop the box over, and we have this. Uh, absolutely fantastic uh, sigil. I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to be. I'm assuming the ram's head there is some kind of reference, um, perhaps to the Librarius. Um, of course, please correct me if I'm uh, if I'm wrong about that. Um, not as well versed in a lot of my uh, current Warhammer lore as I should be, but you know, hopefully that will uh, I'll kind of improve as things go. I mean, to be honest, this is the first. Um, up-to-date purchase I've made uh, for 40k since the uh, Indomitus box 
course we did an unboxing for that three years ago i think it was now um so yeah this is the book this is actually the most recent thing the most up-to-date thing i've ever kind of purchased from games workshop and hopefully it might get my um my very meager uh blood angels primaris force uh kind of ready for action on the tabletop because the last time i played any 40k was in fourth edition about 15 16 years ago so bit of a while um just trying to think if that's actually correct i think i was about 12 last time i played fourth edition so it was either it was either third or fourth but anyway doesn't really matter but yeah um i did already uh slip the um the plastic the uh like the seals open um just so it'll be a bit easier to get this box open today yeah, let's, let's do that now and yeah of course uh the first thing we are greeted with is the mass of sprues um because there are there's a lot of plastic in this box um some of the first things we see are uh parts for the brutalist dreadnought um death company dreadnought of course and we've got these great big wings of course that must be astaroth and that looks like the spree for the martyrs it's a pretty detailed base um it also does look like we have got those um upgrade sprues there so there's four of those in total um of course with some nice sculpted shoulder pads uh, some details some little uh embellishments of course blood angels like to have all kinds of wonderful artistic flair on their armor uh, we've got some We've got Terminator head and some shoulder pads. We've got the Infernus pistol, power sword. Uh, we've got the, I believe that's the two-handed Eviscerator right there, which is very cool. And of course, one, two, three, four. We've got four of those in the box. So plenty of opportunity for upgrading. Just going to pop these to one side for the time being. Of course, we have, looks like we've got all the bits there for our. Uh, Death Company Dreadnought across three sprues. Again, this is the first time um, that I've actually had my hands on any Primaris Dreadnought kits. Um, I only own one, one complete Dreadnought, and of course, it is the old, uh, the old, old style box knot. So it's very cool. I'm going to be looking forward to getting that together. The actual meat of the box course we've got the sprues for the um assault intercessors and the assault intercessors for jump packs uh two sprues of each i'm assuming these are just how the uh 10 man squads kind of come in the as their regular uh, kind of box set very very cool indeed oh it looks like we've got a couple of bits that have already popped out of the sprue. I think that's hoping just a little bit of plastic there. I'm hoping that's just a uh, piece of sprue snapped off. It could possibly be one of the fins of the. Uh, is it really, does it look like? Oh no, no, it's just a just a number tab, and then there's a uh, just a heavy bolt pistol arm that looks like it's popped off one of the sprues. Still, um sort out and just very big wall hammer symbol of course double sided and um, let's pop that to one side over here i do not have a lot of space on my desk at the moment so it's a bit tricky to do the um yeah it looks like the box did suffer a little bit on route which is a bit of a shame um, the company i ordered this all through there shipping is usually top tier um that everything kind of turns up really nicely packed and protected but uh, yeah it does look like the box did see a bit of damage this time around which is a bit of a shame but um 
Again, that lovely cover art by Jamie Martinez. Full week of both, and it looks like that's going to be all of our reading material, but just underneath here, looks like we've got... Death Company transfer sheet. Um, I think, yeah, that was, I think that was only supposed to be one of these. Yeah, there was just the one transfer sheet, but it looks like that should be enough for doing the entire, um, the entire force there. Of course, you got all the uh, details. But guys, let's we now we've got. Yeah, that's better. I was going to say, I didn't really want to have my light on when we had the uh, when we had the box so on the desk there because that shiny plastic would have reflected the light, but yeah, it's, you can see that in a bit more detail. Look at that. All of our bases as well. Very, very cool indeed. So let's just put this back. Assuming that's... That should have originally been in the box. I think when they uh, when they were packing it, I just kind of crushed it down a little bit. We'll pop this out of the way for a second. My desk is very very untidy. I didn't get a chance to give it a good clean before I um set up the the stream today, just simply because uh, I'm terrible when it comes to organisation. Yeah. Let's pop this just open here. Let's have a look. And the first thing we have, I'm assuming these will probably be the date sheet cards. Um, looks like we've got um, Commander Dante and Mephiston, two powerhouses of the, uh, of the Blood Angels there. The uh, I, I'm loving the artwork they've been using. Um, very gothic style as is fitting and of course that beautiful beautiful artwork on the back of the cards here and those, um, shiny red borders this is all very cool and of course we've got all of our uh, data cards for all the various characters and blood angels specialist units so This is all a very new concept to me, like the data sheets and things like that, because I'm still used to using, well, from the last time I played any tabletop action, was using the, uh, just your codexes, just grab your codex out and uh, try and flick through the pages and find the necessary rules and uh, data you need. So yeah, it's a very novel concept for me, these, uh, these data sheets, but yeah, very, very cool indeed. Very Beautifully designed. Beautiful and functional. Yeah. Well, that's one side. Yeah, we've got the um so we've got the instruction booklet here. Um in reverse we have got the uh your com paint uh, completed and painted uh, Death Company Blood Angels Force. Just very I don't know when these uh, when these booklets started popping up in the box sets. Um, I think it was probably sometime around the fifth or sixth edition. And it was, of course, a very very helpful edition, especially when you um, when a kit comes with lots of upgrade parts. You're not exactly sure where some of them go, but uh, yeah, very very helpful. And then looks like the last thing in the box here is that. Absolutely gorgeous uh, codex up and look at the cover art on that. Wow. The kind of the inlay day details down the side there and the Blood Angels emblem. Um, cover art there looking like a bit of a homage to the uh, the Firstborn Marines just by the uh, the style of the armour. It looks like they're fighting some kind of uh, Slaanesha demons. Um, and then yeah, it looks like just a big continuation of that. On the rear side, um, absolutely phenomenal. That is some of the best artwork I think, genuinely, I think I've ever seen. Um, 
this to the side. This open. Of course, that that's uh, classic, creepy, gothic, uh, sort of inside cover art that it features. I think on a lot of the new rule books and things like that. I think it's just kind of a general thing. And yeah, just look through this. I love seeing that when you when they go back to the uh, kind of the classic artwork that they've kind of featured through the uh, through the years. I think that was that was on the second edition Angels of Death Codex. That was the one that the Blood Angels shared with the Dark Angels, I believe. And again, I think maybe that was featured somewhere in the in the book, but probably I think it maybe popped up possibly beforehand. Um, Certainly the artistic style look, does look very rogue trader-esque, so maybe that was kind of end of first, sec, uh, beginning of second. And some, of course, lovely army shots, and we've got kind of the introduction to the, the Blood Angels, looks like, sort of a bit of their history. Um, got some details on the, uh, some of the successor chapters. Also got a... Uh, like divided up. Lamenters, sad boys. Uh, so yes, yeah, so I'll be spending plenty of time perusing through this at a later date. Um, It's very cool. Really, really looking forward to getting started on it. Um, hopefully, I am going to be doing... Um, I'll, I'll build a lot of the kit kind of off stream, and then we probably will look to do some painting on the stream there. Um, I'll probably get the, uh, the two characters, the Martyrs and Astara, um out of the way on stream, so uh, be sure to keep your eye open for that, of course. Um, link is in the description below for the twitch channel but it's uh, twitch.tv slash headspace underscore hobbies um, thank you very much for watching and uh, i will catch you next time bye for now